distractions y'all they'll get you every time hey everyone i wanted to talk to you all about something that's been super heavy on my heart lately distractions there's two kinds distraction number one the sinful distractions i say sinful because these are the type of distractions that you know are wrong something you feel in your heart that you really shouldn't be doing but you do it anyway first example partying drugs alcohol living that lifestyle is not healthy for your spirit all of those things can become addicting it can distract you from God, god's true purpose in your life kick that lifestyle to the curb let it go let it go let it go get rid of it another example of a sinful distraction could be a relationship if it's constantly stressing you out and constantly making you question yourself what is he doing does my hair look good enough does he like the clothes i wear should i have sex with him should we do this should we do that that is not healthy for your heart you guys and that is not the type of thing that god wants you to be focusing on in your relationships you need to be with someone who constantly lifts you up in Christ. Be with someone who will pray for you and pray with you and who is actively seeking God, not only in their life, but in their relationship with you. Be in relationships that matter and that glorify God. The second type of distraction is the not sinful distractions. This is something that could be totally awesome for you, that's totally positive, benefits your life in a great way, but you just take it a little bit too far. So the first example of a not sinful distraction could be working out. Working out is awesome for you. I encourage it. God says to take care of your body. It's a temple of the Holy Spirit. But if you're obsessing over it and compulsively thinking about it and you want to spend every single second, every single day doing that, then it's not healthy for your spirit. And it could keep you from getting busy doing what God wants you to do with your life and keeping your focus 100% on Him. Second example of a not sinful distraction could be social media. Totally guilty here, you guys. I often find myself wanting the perfect profile picture, tons of likes on all my pictures and statuses. I obsess over what everyone's doing, and I get so concerned with staying connected and connected to the world through Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or whatever it is that I lose my focus of being connected to God and being in constant communication with Him. Sometimes we can take social media a little bit too far. It's fun to keep up with our friends. It's fun to see what everyone's doing, but it can be a distraction from God and our relationship with Him, and that's not good. So today, I challenge all of you all watching to take a few minutes and think about those things that might be distracting you or keeping you from living 100% committed to God. Don't feed those unhealthy desires and distractions and let your godly desires starve. Be hungry for God. Whatever it is that's distracting you, burn it. Lock it up. Throw away the key. And then throw away all the duplicate copies of that key that you made. Let it go, y'all, and don't pick it back up. Praying for you guys. Praying that you can seek God every single day and every single season. Thanks for watching my video. Love y'all. See you next time.